What's going on, everybody? I'm Norm from Fundoc.com. Uh, today, Apple made waves in the cell phone industry and in the uh, consumer electronics business in general by unveiling a preview of the new iPhone operating system, iPhone OS 3.0. The operating system is available right now actually as a beta to registered developers only and will be released to the general public in its final version sometime this summer. That's literally what Apple said it'll be available this summer. So, you know, we don't know when. Uh, and historically, you know, for the, the whole long history of two years that the iPhone's been out, uh, they released new hardware, new software and stuff uh, in June. So look for it, you know, sometime between now and then. Uh, no mention of new hardware at today's press event uh, that Apple held on their campus in Cupertino, but uh, it would stand to reason that the you know Apple might be coming out with another revamped version of the iPhone uh, this June. Again, the original iPhone released uh, two years ago in June, and the new iPhone 3G released last year. Now the, now, the new operating system will run on both the first generation iPhone with the metal back and the newer iPhone 3G with the plastic back, although uh, the old first generation phone will not have access to a few of the features. Also, the upgrade will be available for iPod Touch second generation owners for $10, and that also will be lacking a few features. Uh, lots of stuff unveiled today. The, the big news, it's funny, because a lot of the big news was stuff that you know non-Apple smartphone owners have been saying, you know, we've been able to do that for years. Uh, copy and paste, MMS messaging, stereo Bluetooth, finally the iPhone platform. My personal favorite, the horizontal keyboards, you'll be able to finally uh, use your iPhone in widescreen mode. Uh, right now you can only do that in Safari. You can get to the, um, the widescreen mode when you're in Safari and you want to use the keyboard. But the rest of the apps, it doesn't work uh, unless you have a jailbroken phone or use a third-party application. But uh, finally, you'll be able to get that widescreen keyboard across all of your iPhone applications, including uh, messaging, email, SMS, MMS, all that good stuff. So looking forward to that. Also, uh, Spotlight Universal Search across all of your content, mail, calendar, iPod, everything else. Uh, all kinds of new developer tools, over a thousand APIs, Apple claims that'll let developers do uh, all kinds of stuff, including push notifications, which is where uh, when you, you can stay logged into something like, say, Facebook, or an instant messaging program, and you'll get a little notification on the home screen that you've got a new message. Uh, that's called push because it gets pushed out to you. You don't have to go and retrieve it yourself. Uh, also, all kinds of uh, dock interface now uh, accessibility to developers. You can build. They showed off a couple of things, uh, prototypes like uh, music, a music program, or a rather speaker accessory includes software that would let you set a graphic equalizer for the speaker. Or they actually showed off. Uh, a medical application, a glucose monitor that could hook up to your iPhone, and the phone could be used to uh, analyze data from the glucose monitor, send out alerts to you know family or healthcare professionals or what have you. All kinds of stuff, uh, and really, you know, what Apple did is they they answered a lot of the the critics again, the people who have been saying you know since the first iPhone came out, it should be able to do this, should be able to do that. The one thing it won't do is uh, video capture still, uh, as well as flash support. Apple kind of danced around those questions. They did say the phone is capable of tethering, uh, so hooking up to a laptop for use as a cellular modem, but they kind of basically left it up to AT&T and the other carriers to decide if that's going to be something they're going to offer with the iPhone or not. Uh, stereo Bluetooth, like we said. Also, all kinds of uh, gaming and application-based capabilities around Bluetooth. Uh, some sort of a system using Apple's local networking protocol called Bonjour that uh, OS X users are familiar with. Something like that will be coming to iPhone where you can hook up via Bluetooth with other iPhone users nearby to play games and do other uh, interactions with them over applications. All kinds of stuff. So basically what they did was they answered the critics for most of those features that have been missing from iPhone for a while now. They added a few more interesting features that uh, people weren't necessarily you know, ready for. And then they really just did a, t a ton of stuff and, uh, to kind of bump the App Store even more into the fore. Uh, it's a bad rhyme, more into the fore more into the spotlight when it comes to the iPhone, iPod Touch development environments. So basically what you've got is all these other smartphone platforms, BlackBerry, uh, Microsoft Windows Mobile, you know, everybody else kind of clamoring to get their own app stores together. Even though you've been able to buy apps for these platforms for years, 
The App Store has been huge. Apple's model of you know getting it all in one place for consumers, making it easy to use, making uh, you know being able to market it and everything has really taken off. So other other smartphone plat smartphone platforms and vendors are trying to replicate this now. And now Apple's just bumped it up um, with all these new APIs, all this new functionality, and also now uh, in-app commerce opportunities. So basically. Um, you could have a situation where you buy a game, they, they showed this on Sims 3 and a few other games, you buy a game and then you're in the game and you have opportuni opportunities to uh, spend even more money, say you know you can buy a stereo system for your Sims character for 99 cents and then in the game you can actually use it to play music from your iPod library on your iPhone. Crazy. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? I'll leave that up to you. I personally don't plan to spend 99 cents Sims character, it can have a boombox. But that's just me. I don't know. I'm kind of cheap when it comes to outfitting my virtual characters. You might be different. Uh, but all kinds of stuff, you know, you should expect um, all kinds of crazy stuff from the App Store now. Like I said, all kinds of new applications, interaction with, you know, different accessories, and now these uh, in-app in commerce opportunities. Also, all kinds of other features. Uh, shake functionality, so you can use the shake to do everything from undoing when you're typing to activating shuffle mode on the iPod, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, this really brings up the question now, you know, what's going to become Palm Pre? All the hype was about Palm Pre. Did Apple take some of the thunder away from, from Palm today with this announcement? We'll have to see. I'm still looking forward to getting Pre in my hands, and now I'm looking forward to getting the iPhone OS 3.0 in my hands as well. And when I do, as soon as I get it, you'll see it. It's my promise. All right? So much, much more on the new iPhone OS, iPhone 3.0. Again, it's available to developers today as a beta. It'll be out to consumers this summer. Uh, it'll work on both generations of iPhones, uh, but the older version you won't get, what they say, you won't get MMS messaging and you won't get stereo Bluetooth. Uh, apparently there may be a Bluetooth solution for iPod Touch, which is really interesting. It'll be a $10 upgrade for iPod Touch owners, apparently. And uh, you know, like I said, once I get it, you'll hear all about it right here. So until next time, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. I'm gonna go back online and read more about this stuff because you know, that's what I do. We'll see you next time. <laughs>